Let us now switch over to convolution in frequency domain. The convolution theorem relates convolution in time and frequency domains. It states that the Fourier transform of a convolution of two functions is the product of their Fourier transforms. To compute the proof of this statement, let us start with the discrete convolution equation. Taking the Fourier transform, of both input and output substituting the definition of Fourier transform into the equation and then rearranging the terms the middle term is nothing but the Fourier transform of H of n minus k signal similarly the remaining term is the Fourier transform of the input signal XL resulting into a relation that is the product of Fourier of the frequency domain signals. Convolution theorem can be redefined in a simplest way as convolution in time domain is multiplication in frequency domain. This relation is also called as fast convolution. This property of convolution can be used in filtering. The convolution operation may, be, may also be thought as a filtering operation on the signal xt where the impulse response ht is acting as a filter. The input-output relation for the system is shown both in time and frequency domain. In time domain, the input-output relation is simply convolution operation whereas in frequency domain it is the product of the Fourier transforms of the two signals. The shape of the impulse response determines which properties of the original signal xt are filtered out. To verify this, apply an unit impulse as an input to the system having an impulse response ht. So we have applied an input which is nothing but unit impulse. The Fourier transform of the input is a flat spectrum equal to 1 at all frequencies. This is equivalent to simultaneously impressing upon the system an array of oscillators inclusive of all possible frequencies. Computing the output of such a system results into an output whose frequency characteristic is entirely governed by the frequency characteristic or shape of the impulse response of the system. Hence, impulse response is said to govern the behavior of the system. Here is an illustration of convolution theorem. It illustrates the filtering of a noisy ECG signal. The electrocardiogram or ECG signal is the recording of the heart's electrical potential versus time. Cables carrying ECG signal from the patient to the monitoring equipment are susceptible to electromagnetic interference from 50 or 60 Hz power line noise. This power line interference is a significant source of noise. The object is to remove this noise component from the ECG signal. The input to the system is an ECG signal. The signal is in frequency domain. The spike seen at 60 Hz is the power line noise interfering in the ECG signal. Now let's look into the system at which the ECG signal is applied. The system is designed as a notch filter. As shown, the notch is exactly at 60 Hz. Thus, the filtering of, thus filtering of the 60 Hz frequency from ECG signal. The two signals are now convolved. As per the convolution theorem, the convolved output is simply the product of the signals in frequency domain. This is the resultant output spectrum. 
as seen the 60 hertz power line noise is eliminated the signal is now a pure ECG signal or a filtered ECG signal. Thus, what we understand by multiplication of the frequency spectra is that any frequency that is strong in both signals will be very strong in convolved signal and conversely any frequency that is weak in either input signal will be weak in the output signal. Summarizing Convolution can be used as a very powerful and general algorithm for smoothening and differentiation operations. It is also used very significantly in data and image processing applications.